Good evening ladies and gentlemen, Oz Mining here and we are just having a scan of our brand new solar installation here in Australia. It's been commissioned today, it's taken just over a week to install and yeah, really, really happy with it. The, uh, the workers did a great job, really professional, everything's really neat and safe and yeah, it just looks really amazing. So. I thought I'd just come up here this evening. I have got the um, the scissor lift here for um, for one more day, so I thought I'd just come up and show you guys this uh, beautiful system. What I'll do is I'll give you a quick scan up here, then we'll go down, we'll look at the inverters and inside the mining warehouse and then what's happening upstairs with the actual machines themselves. We got uh, just under 150 kilowatts here, somewhere I think just south of 300 panels. There's a mix of 585 watt panels and 440 watt panels, sort of blended together to give us the maximum coverage. So using bigger panels does not always mean a bigger system. You've kind of someone's got to work with the space you've got and optimize it. So again, the workers that did this job were really professional. We spent a lot of time getting the details right. So on installation day, it was really smooth, no surprises. So happy vendor and a very happy client at the moment. We've uh, so we we got this system commissioned today, and yeah, it looks like pulling 100 kilowatts, pretty much maximum um, system that we could recover from the uh, the beautiful sun, which is just going down there now over in the. Uh, on the west side over there so yes yeah, so i'm really happy i'm going to be monitoring the system for a few days just get an idea of around what time in the morning i'll get the kilowatts ramping up what time in the evening it'll be going down really i want to be running at least 50 kilowatts at any one time during the day to cover the miners that i've got running and i also want to ramp up I've brought some L9s over the last few days. Got three L9s on the way in the November batch. I might add a sneaky another one. But I also want to probably just keep my powder dry because when new miners come out, I want to feel like I can jump on something that's going to be profitable. And there's only a certain amount of capital I can deploy at any one time while I'm kind of ramping up. So yeah, just need to see how that goes. But for right now, I'm really happy. I'm also going to be potentially looking at Actually, let's let's try and get down while while we're doing this. So let me just try and get this uh, this machine working here. Uh, I think it's that button, and then we go down. There we go. Beautiful. So good night, solar panels. Let's go down there. Maybe I'll just come down into the, the warehouse here. <laughs> I love this. You can go. Snail speed, turtle speed, or rabbit or hare speed. So that's in terms of moving the uh, the scissor lift forward and backwards, and then to actually go up and down, there's just one speed, which is kind of, I guess, slow. Yeah, there we go. Just down there. We'll just uh, switch that off now. There we go. Beautiful. So I'll just pause and we'll get down and we'll we'll have a look at our in, our inverters down here. Beautiful, so here are the two SunGrow inverters and they look like they are running. They've got some nice blue squares there, I guess means it's uh, generating power. Uh, well, I presume at some point, this is the first day of running, they might go red or, or do some different colors once they switch off and they're no longer gathering the sun's rays and generating essentially free electricity for myself so yeah they're really nice there's going to be a cage going around these to protect these but yeah again really neat install really nice units it's amazing that these can both produce up to 50 kilowatts each so yeah re really really impressive so yeah these then feed into the oz mining warehouse so we've got these massive beasts here which were actually a little bit of a surprise for Oz Mining and the installers. These are grid protection units. And essentially to get permission to install a really powerful solar system and to protect the, the main grid from spikes in power and fluctuations, we need to install what's called a grid protection system. Got no idea what it does. Uh, there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes inside there. I'm not going to open it up, but it essentially just gives the uh, grid providers 
comfort that our system is not going to do any damage to the main grid. Uh, it is very unlikely this will actually activate and do anything that will affect the actual use of electricity here, but this is just something that needs to be installed as part of this uh, installation. We then got the two separate three phase meters, which are able to generate just under 200 amps each. So overall, there's 400 amps here of power. And so what happens essentially from the inverters, it goes through these grid protections just to make sure we don't get any spikes, then into my meters. And then what it will do is those meters will feed the mining hardware upstairs, which I'll take you to in a minute. And if there's not enough solar to power the mining hardware, then it will just draw from the grid. So it's kind of like an ocean. It flows backwards and forwards. It's, there's no like hard stops or things like switching on and off. Solar just kind of acts a little bit like the ocean. It flows in and out and then sort of blends with the, the river of the power coming in from the grid. So yeah, all, all, all really smart. I'm learning some stuff myself. So let's just go up and have a look at the upstairs. Look, look I've got so much mining stuff here. I really, I need to employ someone to come here and just help me get all this stuff set up, unpacked. Whilst I'm fo focusing on ASIC mining, now that we've got the pretty much free power during the day, I want to get my mining rigs switched on soon. And I'm going to be using scheduling and just powering these up during the day when I've got free energy. So, you know, I think what that will mean is these can be reasonably profitable during the day, switch them off at night and they'll just wake up the next day and make some more money hopefully got over here just some sort of mixed well actually these are pretty consistent rigs this is an msi rtx 3070 rig the gaming x msis i think there's 10 on there and this looks like a 10 card rig i really like consistent rigs with the same cards i just find overclocks and consistency and limited dropouts and issues it's just better when all the cars are the same so these are i think these are gigabyte gaming ocs on these so 10 of them probably going to be the mining leo algorithm at the moment looks to be the most profitable but i'm also probably gonna with the free power put some rigs on some coins that i like probably like flux ergo that will be because i got free power it's i'm not gonna be making a loss i can just stack some coins that, that i really like so yeah a lot of work to do there, but I really want to get those rigs up and running soon. I've got over 100 GPUs. I've actually brought some more Octominers. I don't know if anyone will remember that Octominer was actually a fail, got delivered. We had the, the PSUs inside there rattling around and smashed a lot of stuff up. However, I have found some really good deals on some new Octominers. The price is really coming down because there's a little bit of a, particularly a bear market in GPU mining, not so much ASIC but the, the bear market more specifically across the uh, GPU mining arena means that I'm picking up some of these Optiminer Ultras. I think I've got a couple for about seven, $800 Aussie. So really, really happy with that. And I've got them coming soon. So I'm gonna be trying to get more of my GPUs into the Optiminers. So let's just go upstairs. I've got 5% battery. So let's just get you up here very, very quickly before my battery dies so yeah these ASICs are going to love the free power that's coming soon we've got some ice river ks5s at the moment up here and as i said upstairs on the roof i have ordered three bits main l9s to mine dogecoin line looks like the most profitable ASIC at the moment for now so i'm going to be working on actually getting these piping the hot air out of the window there so not only will we have free power We'll hopefully have a nice cool mining warehouse as well, which would be great. So I can sit here and work in reasonable coolness. All right, thanks for watching the update, guys. I'll bring you more as we start to get this warehouse organized and really take advantage of our free power. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everyone following me so far on this journey. I feel like we're really starting to get into a, a new chapter at Oz Mining. So appreciate the feedback, the comments, any critiques, anything you think I need to be doing. One thing I'd really like to find out is if I can schedule ASICs to come on during the day when the solar's on. That's something I haven't researched. So if anyone's got any information on how to schedule ASICs, if it's possible, whether it's a physical like or a, some sort of electric, electronic timer here, or if it's actually doing it uh, digitally, I guess, in software, I would love to know that. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care and enjoy the rest of your weekend.
goodbye.